on Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou and I am excited. We love a New Horizon Academy comes in. Kalina Bunnell is joining us right now and we have some things that we are going to be playing with here today that's not only going to have fun, we're going to have fun with, but we're going to learn something too. Yeah, we're going to learn stuff and we're going to talk about our great summer plans that we have in all of our centers. So right. in addition to our wonderful curriculum, we still do curriculum year round. So in the summer, we have some really great things coming up and I'm just sharing some of our teachers activities with everyone. How about that? Now this prepares children for success in school and in life, doesn't it? Yeah, so we really want to prepare lifelong learners. So kids who can learn not only within our center, but when they're off to kindergarten and in beyond. Um, so yeah, we have some really great activities that we typically do in our centers. And these resources are all available on our website, newhorizonacademy.net. And um, you can download those, print those, and do the activities at home. All right, let's get started here. What's the first yeah, one we're gonna so do? Yeah, so first we are repurposing um, a milk carton. So we have a half gallon um, milk carton and your children can paint that however they would like. Um, grab a bag of potting soil and mm -hmm. a small bag of seeds and you can plant that at home. Okay. And then we have a really great um, plant journal on our website where you can kind of make some observations. What do you think will happen? Mm -hmm. um, how long will these seeds take to grow? What do the seeds look like? And then when those flowers start growing, um, you can use a ruler and measure those plants. Yeah, just a day by day, yeah. you know, journal. Yeah, so day one, um, that'll take you all the way through. Um, um, do you notice any changes in the plants? And you can just check yes or no, write a little blurb. Your child can make a photo of okay. kind of what, what they observed that okay. day. And then just go to the day two yeah. and wait till the seed starts growing. Yeah, so you just do that. And that is cool. um, eventually you can transfer those flowers out of that milk carton somewhere else. Um, it's really fun. The kids love using the tools. It's great for fine motor skills. They really love wearing the gloves. Um, and then as always, connecting that to literacy. So there's a lot of great books about gardening, plants, mm -hmm. things like that, um, that you can read while you're doing that That's great. exploration. What do we also have here? Yeah, so next we have a bean sprout um, steam experiment. So you just need a Ziploc bag um, and then some beans and you get a paper towel wet in a bowl. Um, you would get that wet, put it in the Ziploc bag with the beans and you can either tape that on a window, keep it in a window seal, somewhere where it will get a lot of sun. And again, use a ruler, kind of mark down what your child notices happening. Do they think they'll grow? Um, things like that. Okay, and then watch them when they sprout, which yeah. is really, really yeah, cool. definitely. So. Um, our next activity um, has to do with kind of our July theme, so drip, drop, splash, water, mm -hmm. um, and another steam activity. So we just have a Ziploc bag here um, that we've kind of drawn a picture on, and you'll fill this with water. You can add food coloring and again, tape this in a window. This kind of talks about the water cycle. So you see the condensation. And yeah. Okay. So you have waves idea. down here as your ocean. Um, put this up in a window and you'll see some evaporation. You'll see the water kind of go back up into the clouds and then you just talk about how that Oh, that's comes so cool. Circle. I was wondering what yeah. that was all about. Yeah. That so, is really neat. Yeah, and the kids really like watching that. It's really fun if you um, use some food coloring in the water too. Um, and last but not least in August, we're talking about insects and spiders. So This is really cool. Uh, I just I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, this is Lou's favorite. So yep. we have some real bugs um, that are kind of enclosed in epoxy. Um, you can buy these at your favorite retailer. Um, the children can use the um, magnifying, magnifying glass, glass to, to kind of take a peek and look at what they look like up close. Yeah, I'm going to hold this up so you can see some of these that are here, which are really cool. Look at, there's a scorpion over there. Is that cool? Yeah, so just some different bugs that we that are not native to Iowa that they might not find outside. But we also want to encourage um, children to get outside. Maybe they're using nets, um, and we're we're getting those bugs and we're bringing them inside like if the, we can. Like the fireflies will be yeah, zipping around. Yeah, here pretty and just soon. exploring them a little bit more, talking about what we observe um, when we talk about insects and spiders, counting their legs, um, talking about the different parts of the insect, and again connecting those with literacy and reading books about those um, insects. That is really important as well and we also want to talk about uh, kids cuisine too. Yeah so in all of our centers we do a lot of cooking. Um, we talk a lot about that. Kids love cooking and then there's a lot of great learning that happens. Because that's science. Yeah it so really it's is. science, it's math, um, it's literacy they're reading. Um, they get to really dig in and use their fine motor skills. Um, we have a lot of great recipes on our website um, that connect back to maybe some vegetables you can grow in your garden mm. um, and then use those. The kids love the funny face bagel so you just take a bagel and make a face with vegetables. That is a great idea. Yeah, yeah. And we're talking about the cuisine, and 
I'm glad you mentioned that about uh, growing some things in the garden. You can get some that grow rather quickly too. I'm not sure how many kids like radishes, but those th yeah. those grow really quick. You can put yeah. those. Start them out in your milk container in your, and um, do your plant journal and then use that all the way over um, when you're creating snacks at home. And the beans too, that yeah. works. Yeah, so, super healthy. Right, and you mentioned it earlier, but let's remind everybody about the website so you can get all these and you can print them off just like this here. Yeah. Uh, where can they go? They can go to newhorizonacademy.net. Um, those are all available there. Um, and then again, we are enrolling for summer. So lots of fun things happening in our centers this summer. Um, we're located downtown off Southwest 9th over in Johnston, off Northwest 86th and in West Des Moines off University and then over in Pella. Right, and great ideas and uh, great learning experiences uh, to help your kids for school so you don't have to experience the brain drain in the summer slide, especially yes. this time of year, and you can prevent that. Yeah, it's a great time to make your transition into a center if that's something that you're considering. It's just a fun time. We invite a lot of great people into the center to present about all of these topics. So gardening, water, and then insects and spiders. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming over again. Uh, it's always fun when you're here and I'm going to play with the bugs here and we're going to talk more animals when we come back because we're going to the Blank Park Zoo and they have a surprise for us. They won't tell us what it is. We'll find out next. Jay live from the zoo when we return to Iowa Live.